Alright guys, so um, here's a tutorial for uh, like, you know, to get the quality that I get, the 1080p Dazzle. Um, first thing you want to do is, on your PS3, I don't know if this works on Xbox or not, but if you run off composite, what you want to do is um, set it to 16 by 9 this is 4 by 3 this is what it is like before you even like when you just get your PS3 it's automatically set to this so what you want to do is you go to the display settings and then you change it to 16 by 9 and when you record recording 16 by 9 and then you'll get you know it looks like you're playing on a widescreen TV even if your TV is 4 by 3 like mine is mine's just 4 by 3 so um and you know we'll go into the Sony Vegas part of it Here's something I was just editing the other day. These clips I got last night. I was editing it today. From clips I got last night. Um. You know. Yeah. Um. So what you want to do is when you render it. You want to click WMV. Like I do now. I don't. You know, it doesn't matter what you save it to. But you want to go WMV. Alright. And here I have like. Four or five. For different things, some for gameplay, some for montages, etc. So, um, yeah, I just choose the 720p one, do I? I'm not even sure. Oh, I choose the 10, uh, the smooth one, yeah, SMO, the smooth, I guess. You want to set that to the good or best or whatever it gives you. Audio doesn't matter, but here, the top three things don't matter. And then you want to go 1920 for width, 1080 for height. Pixel aspect ratio, you want to keep it to square. I accidentally put it to HD here, but you don't want to do that because that'll make it look pretty bad. Here, you want to do PAL if you're from Europe or Australia, and then NTSC, I guess. Well, it doesn't matter with the render, but when you record, it does. And then for sharp, like the smoother sharpness, you put it around 60. I find that the best. 60, 70, and then yeah. So we'll go to Pinnacle Studio now. Um, I'm using the composite now because my S video cable is pretty much stuffed. I don't know what happened to it, but it makes my TV bugged or blur. It makes my TV blurry and low detail, and only, there's like less colors. Um, you just want to muck around with these settings until you find what you like, pretty much. Just, I don't know. Just, I, that's what I did. I just slid them up and down until I find, found out what I would like. But uh, what you want to do in Pinnacle is hit custom setting. You want to make your own because when you record, it'll record in AVI 4x3, disgusting stuff. So you want to record in MPEG as well. And here's like 16x9. You want to record in that. And uh, yeah. So yeah, MPEG. And you, you don't want to do AVI because the file will be massive. Do, you can do high, but I find doing customs better. You get the same stuff, but you can set the bit rate higher, which will make it run smoother as well. And then video preferences, none of this really matters, just the bit where it says PAL. That doesn't matter though. I just record standard and it gives me the normal 1609. That's probably the best thing you can do. Same stuff here, it doesn't really matter what you record with. For the microphone, you can click on yours, that's how you do the live commentary, you record your own voice over it, you know, and then ta da. And it will be in sync with the video. So, um, yeah, I hope this helps. Um, here, I'll put the final, like, that video I showed before, I'll put it at the end. Um, I hope that helps rate this and whatever, comment whatever you want to do. I don't mind, but um, yeah, thanks for watching.